Demand is already outstripping supply when it comes to housing in Nova Scotia. And it's the same when it comes to workers. Now, the gap is expected to continue to grow by thousands in the years ahead, with a shortage of skilled laborers as one of the major obstacles holding back construction starts. Saltwire recently visited Coal Harbor District High School Skilled Trade Center. It's been around since 2014. And while some young people are interested, others are saying, no, thank you. My first weld I did, it was actually like pretty good. So I thought that I could do it if I really put the time and effort into learning. Yeah, definitely following the interest. Did it a little bit of hands-on then really thought, oh, this is something I want to do. I just enjoyed like architecture and like environment stuff as well. So I kind of lean to, I'm thinking I'm leaning towards more that career path, but I still love doing like all the trades and programs to help me figure out kind of what, like what path to take. I have another individual who has his own business. He's a red seal carpenter and he's in the concrete industry. We have like just students that I know or continue to speak with. We, uh, there's four of them or five of them that are in the electrical trades uh, having great success. A PRISM economics report says construction section will need close to 14,000 new workers to keep pace with demand over just the next seven years. With files from Jen Taplin, I'm Sheldon McLeod, Saltwire.